We are heading out thrifting tonight. It's a little bit of a rainy day around here. We're heading into Warren, Pennsylvania, which is probably about 45 minutes from us, which to give you a little geography is about how far from Jamestown, New York? 20 miles. And who's famous in Jamestown? Lucy! <laughs> Lucille Ball. That's where the Lucille Ball Museum is. We gotta go check that out sometime. That'd be fun. So we are over in Warren at, at the Goodwill here today checking out. Did you see the bins outside? Hey, it's Getty. I didn't realize that. Yeah, was all the butterflies. Did you see Falula Borg's Ann Getty photo shoot? No. You should see it. Okay, I'll it's have to pretty, go. I will have to go special. look for it. Did you see the big bins outside of I this did. Goodwill? They had some lamps inside of them, and I while we're standing here, you're gonna have to tell them where that's from. They know where it's from. They're happening people. When Anchorman. Matt just like blurts out, "I love lamps." Steve Carell's character Britt, it, anchor in. Okay, all right. Brett, just so everybody's love, on the same page. Do you love lamp, or are you just saying it because you see it? I love lamp. <laughs> nice. Well, the ladies were pushing the bins from the front full of donations, so it's proof that you could just be standing in a thrift store and something just could, boom, appear on the shelves. That was a cool little piece. He painted little pansies on there. Didn't have any markings. I think I was pulling your attention over to you, like, oh, look at all that glitter mat. You gotta yeah. love that. Yeah. That was a cool piece. It was. Friends, this channel is powered by Junk Monkey Paint, which is our very own brand of paint that we, me and Matt, created together to flip our thrift store finds for resale. Great for all kinds of projects that just need some extra love. Grab a brush, go bananas. I couldn't see a marking on it, but I just there love the a, shape of it. Yeah, there was a sticker pulled on it, and I could make out an H and I and an N. So you think it was a... China. Not a... Not an actual... Expensive, no. sought-after, vintage piece. Okay. No, unfortunately Cool not. look. I'll leave it there. Probably it was an imitation of so something cool. So for you Harry Potter collectors and E.T. collectors, there are DVD pen, first edition DVD pens. I wonder. Somebody there. might have wanted these. And these little uh, wall-hanging plates, I've seen them before. Uh, they're actually pretty uh, I've seen them on eBay and some different places like common you mean yeah There's they're a set, made right? in Japan yeah they're hand painted uh, Candia is I think uh, the name of the company right is there one more that goes with that uh, yeah it's with underneath it? it's underneath Harry Potter oh I missed the second one well that's the whole thing is you leave Harry and Hermione on top of it makes everything uh. better this I found this I took this home for myself this is probably about a 30 to 40 dollar little wine set with the wine key and the yeah you grabbed it and i'm like what is it again yeah and the uh pouring spout and i was wondering what well. this thing was up here in the corner uh that's a little buff buffer for around there for a ring all kinds of little yeah for around the uh edge of the bottle all right well we're gonna have so. to sanitize that throw it in the kitchen because you're yeah. always looking for well it was never used so that's opener. that's what's awesome yeah, yeah it, it was brand new i have wine keys but they're cheap and they bend every time I use, well, so. there you go matt is a wine connoisseur actually there's a name for that What's it's called? sommelier. Sommelier. Yeah. Well, when you're trained. So, so look at this. A piece of wood. Wood with a candle. Ideas. Yes. There you go. That's cute, right? I like that. Just okay, this, don't leave the flame burning in it. That's true. You burn on your house. Probably not a good idea now that I think about it. Um, okay, so I found this clock. It was hide underneath the shelf, like pushed way back in. You know how much people love owls. So I'm sure if that was out further, it probably would have been gone. I debated getting it, but I did not want to take it home and have to replace the clock face. And look at this, what I found here. Yes. And then Fitz you and Floyd me with this. In the box. Glass menagerie. Okay. And this tag, was it this tag? Yeah. Or was it, we got some deals in here because yeah. there was green and another colored tag that was half off. Yeah. And it, I think it was this color. And so, yeah, so we got it for super cheap. I had one hand, so I had you open it up. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> I'm looking over here. I think it's the raccoon, possibly. Yeah. But yeah, look at this. I've never seen a Fitz and Floyd glass. You're like, German. I'm like going, don't pull it so hard. And you're like, I got I'm one hand on. here. Yeah. I'm trying to get it out of, out of the I'm bin like, here. I'm like, no. And you're like, Rah! <laughs> King Kong over there. There we go. Well, it stood the sturdy test. I figure I could definitely ship it. So, yes, well, we I grabbed it. I hope so. It has its own box. Yes, yeah, so we'll be shipping that <laughs> and putting that up for sure. Meanwhile, I found a whole Titusville Drake Well co collection. The, so yes. I could throw a football and probably hit Drake Well from here. Yes, this <laughs> is the area that we live in where um, the, it was the birthplace of, of the, the oil, oil industry. industry. And it's known as a Drake Well. So it's interesting to see that on the shelves. Yes. 
little wear on it, but it was still cool to have that history lesson. Mm -hmm. I started to think that a few of you guys have messaged and said, hey, um, I'm interested in some of the thrift finds that you do have. Oh, oh look. look I didn't even see that. Yeah, Lord of the Rings. Cool, the right? Who else loves Lord of the Rings? So Shout you, out. Tell so me you're below. like, look at this plate. What is that plate? Yeah. So I also oh. like this duck as well. So, and we did take this home, by he the way. What do you know about this He is silver plated. He is from Denmark. He's cool. So he was a bank. He's only missing the plug on the bottom. Yeah. So this plate here, we're like, oh, check this out. This is cool. Let me look at it. Turn it over. May poison food. Put yeah. it back. All right. May poison food. <laughs> yeah. Maybe going back on the shelf. It's definitely going back. So for my thrift finds that I have collected for resale, mm -hmm. um, I have not made my listings public just yet. You guys probably know that there have been some major shipping delays, mm -hmm. uh, just with all the demand on shipping over the holidays during um, just this crazy time that we're in right now. I'm surprised so, you didn't take that. What a little uh, Easter egg. With yeah, the right. Bunny so I wanted to wait till we got through the Easter, <laughs> the Easter <laughs> through the Christmas. Christmas, uh, New Year holiday, and give a chance for all that bulk mail to get processed through the system. So for those of you who also resale, tell me, oh, oh dear, okay, fl it's not a flamingo, it's a uh, pelican, pelican down, pelican down, pelican down, yeah, they, they wouldn't stay up right. I had no no idea why they had a hole in the top, um, I don't know, maybe they weren't supposed to sit on a shelf. That was a little jelly belly glass ball, and this piece here was marked. Yep. But I couldn't really quite make it out, so we grabbed it and brought it It looked it like it should be something cool or something that we would Very definitely old. do yes. research on. I tried so hard to see the stamp on the bottom. And if you guys can tell me what it is, if you see it, if it shows up here and you recognize it, oh, that would be so awesome. We're so old and it? blind. Right there. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, remind me to tell you, Matt got his black light out last night as well. Okay, but first got to finish off. I start to ask, for those of you who resale, by the way, this is not a crack. This is just like a pencil mark inside of it. We check that out, and this is going up for resale. But for those of you who also resale things, what are you seeing right now in terms of the shipping delays? Do you feel like it's got pushed through the system, that the backlog has gotten through? Because the last thing I want to do is, you know, obviously sell all these thrift finds, and then they wait a month in between, you know, here and the destination. So let me know what you've seen and if it's worked its way through the system. You know, hey, hey my initials. S and W. Okay, so yeah, I may never be the same again, guys. Boom. Okay, let's talk about this. So let's these this. are Norman Rockwell 1981 collector's plates. Yes. Now we went on eBay, and we saw some for ten bucks a piece, and we also saw saw, saw the same designs. For up to fourteen hundred dollars. Like what? Piece. Yeah. Like why is there such a big range? And I'm guessing is I saw one year nineteen eighty three and one year nineteen eighty one. Okay. So let's just hope that we hit the jackpot with the earliest year because you can see there's one that's like nine hundred, four hundred, two thousand. Yeah. What? Why? So, right. There's such a and it had random. all like what yeah. makes somebody even post it for that price? And they have all the paperwork with them. By okay. The way. So then we start to go back and go, okay, these plates right here, they're already, I think it was green sticker, which was half off. So they were like, what? What's half of $2.99? Two nine 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 fifty, right? Yeah. So we thought, let's just take them and we'll do some more research on this. And then as we were putting them in the cart, there is the certificate inside. There is the sales slip. Sale slip. They're all marked. They're all like with these little certificates. And do you see how the plate's got a number onto it? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go down a rabbit hole to do a little more research. I will share with you guys what we find out because maybe you'll spot them too. Yep. And we'll let you know if we, we have hit a gold mine. And if we did, we'll never talk to you people if we again. Di if we disappear <laughs> off YouTube, you'll know what happened. Well, Sonia and Matt took the plate money. We went to Mexico. <laughs> And they went somewhere tropical, never yeah. to be found again. Yes. Okay, these were cool. Yeah. I gotta tell them that you and the back black light last night. Do right. you know how in last night's vlog I said to you guys, uh, okay, what are the things that are definitely your no your your no nos at the thrift store? Things that make you want to run, things that make you go, you know, ooh, <laughs> yeah, and run away. You guys told me some funny things. You said like you know slippers. You said hair brushes. You said soft, you know, soft things like pillows, that sort of thing. 
Well, kind of in the same line of thought, Matt took out his black light last night. At, at like 2 a.m.? Yeah. I, I don't know if I, if I take out a black light. That's why I say our neighbors think that we are vampires because they probably look through our windows and see us with flashlights going around our own house. <laughs> Ultraviolet lights. In the coming. middle of the night going, what is going on over there? I don't know yeah. what, this play, what this was about. There was a snake, a golf ball. Oh, yeah. The snake all ate all the golf balls. Oh, I so, missed that. Okay. Yeah. I was trying to figure that out. So we started going around last night, like learning, just like to see, you know, what will black light show up. And you guys know that we moved into this new old house last year. And uh, in our room, it's one of the last places that we have carpet yet uh, to be pulled up. It should have been the first place we pulled the carpet up. Well, off. at this point... <laughs> At this point, I may never touch our bedroom carpet again. Oh yeah, my gosh! I think there may have been a murder committed. In. So if you, yeah, if you, yeah, when you see me do redo, you know, post it and redoing my bedroom, like boy, what motivated you? A black light on old carpet. Yeah, don't ever take a black light anywhere in your house. Or now I'm wondering if I really want to into a thrift store. Yeah. Because I'm concerned with what I might see. Okay. Yeah. I had my black light with me, by the way. Yes, you did. I was, I was armed and ready to rock. In case you saw anything. Yeah. yeah. And, of course, I didn't see anything. Yeah. I forgot you had your little fanny pack with you today. Yes, yes. <laughs> I had. Actually, I shoved everything in my pockets. I probably looked like I was stealing half the store. Oh, they were probably like, what's that man got his hand in his pocket? But, yeah, black light. Boy, talk about seeing things through new eyes. <laughs> new perspective. <laughs> So, oh, and then we went down the path of going on YouTube and searching, you know, black light, yeah, motel, we, hotel, horror stories. It was definitely an eye opener. Be careful where you're bed, kids. <laughs> I might never touch the remote again. All right, this tray back here, I'm trying to get through it. Superman's in the way. And by the way, that is a massive <laughs> jug, let me just tell you. <laughs> Holy smokes. Um, but this tray was cool. It was hand-painted. When you looked at it really, really up close, it just... It looked like almost like a paint by numbers. Yep. I don't know how old it was, but I decided to leave it there. It was one of those pieces that when you see it far away, it looks better than what it does up close. Who is that? I know. He's plastic, but he was super cute. I want to take this home. You did. You're like, Sonia, you need that. You need the oh, giant dinosaur. It's like a big old stuffy, right? Yeah. Big old stuffed animals. Speaking of black lights. For this section? <laughs> yeah, I mean, for the stuffed animal. Oh, yeah, that that's probably one of those, yeah, things that, yeah. Nice bamboo, yeah. like, uh, yeah. chair. Chair there. Love that. Yep. So we're sitting there. Our microwave just died this week. Yep. Oh, we didn't get one there. And there's a microwave. There. Yep. Two there's two microwaves. And there's a wine cooler, but they wanted $79.99. You can get a new one for about $10 cheaper, actually, same size. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. That was a cool lamp. Now, this section is where. I have regrets, deep regrets for the leaving Sensi. a retired yeah. Sensi candle warmer. Like there's one, but not the one I'm looking for. It's uh -huh. gone. Proof that you should take it when you see it. Take it when you see yeah, it. Yeah, it'll be one of those things that haunt me forever. I looked everywhere through here, but just to see if it got pushed back somewhere, but... It was gone. Gone. There's another one over here, but nope. Not the one I'm looking for. But um, hey, if you need a candle warmer. If you need hair rollers. Or hair rollers. That might be on the list of things yeah. that might be a little bit weird. Look, it's a too. wood lamp. That's a nice lamp up there. What did like, you see here? Oh, this is an old Kodak slide projector. For those family uh, movies, you know, where you take pictures, you know. Wow. Embarrassing old stuff. Nice. So was this made like this, or was that well? Somebody painted you know me. It and... I love distressed, shabby, chippy stuff. So I was drawn to it, mm -hmm. but it was actually chipping off while it was on the shelf. Ooh. So I left it there. Yeah. It wasn't made to look like that. It just happened to be like. It that. just happened to be like that, and you just sometimes you just don't know what kind of paint you're dealing with either. So I right. just left it there. It was a mess. A little spice rack. There. Wasn't sure what that was, and you told me it was a yes yeah, spice, spice rack. rack. Okay, this was a cool cat. It is a cat, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's <a> cat. <laughs> Sorry, I saw the space up close and I was beginning to have doubts. question it. Yeah. It was made by Bob. Bob, yay, look at that. Nice. So he's obviously a local guy in the uh, 814 I area. I thought this was a cool, I guess that would be considered a wood burning craft. Uh, yeah. Quite. Very, made very sturdy, very well. Yeah. And so, I don't know, I might paint it, distress it a little bit. No, I just might leave, leave it, it the like way that. it is. What's your vote below? Let me know. This here, I'm sorry to say, Matt, somebody had apparently glued two plates together, and the top one seemed to have uh, little marbles into it. What? Why? 
Why what? Why? Why what? Why do people do stuff like that? Oh, I was thought you were talking about that thing. No, I'm talking about the two... Pl- just By the way, weird. that was soap. This was cool here. I held it way too long. Mm, nice. So, <laughs> you are just drawn like moth to the flame of bathroom products. Uh, so, this is a really nice piece. It could have been a contender, but the handle was broken. Yep. So, and this was nice, too. But couldn't figure out what it was. Again, I this was... was home, I think it was... Homemade art. Yep. Yep. Somebody's, you know, art Ceramic piece that they point. did. Yep. Again, a piece that looks better far off, but when you get it up close, it just, yeah, yeah. it just didn't quite do it for me. <laughs> it right? is, is the magic. Way far off, right? Right. Yeah. It's still beautiful, but it just wasn't for me today to bring home. You're down there looking at that piece now, too. And, yeah, we decided together to leave that there. It's like me. I look great from way off, but when people get up, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> This was a cute set here. I like the polka dots that were on the top of it. Yep. And it's about this area that it began. Whoa. 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 Right. Wow. <laughs> wow. Look wow. At that. Just like that, we're looking at a plate. We've been seeing these see pieces. Coming. If you remember a few vlogs ago, we found a whole set of these ones. Yeah. So, yeah. I love this. The Leonard top. Vienna, Austria. The top, do you see up there? It was mm-hmm. had a glue job right there. <laughs> this was about the area that I, I don't know, something I smelled. I don't know what oh, it yeah, was. Oh, yeah, you started like. I don't was, know if it was incense or what it was. Yeah. But um, I started to move quickly through here because sometimes, you know, those just old perfume bottles, yeah. old perfumey smells, they can perfume. set me off sometimes. Yeah, and there's nothing worse than old, like, you know, the old, like, perfume smells. That's been from sitting the, there for a while. Uh, from the 80s. Here's where we come back and decide to grab the duck. Yes, we took the duck. Yep. Yeah, so. He is from Denmark. He's a foreigner. He needed some guidance here in the United States. So. Yep. Yeah. We, I don't know what happened to his eye. We decided <laughs> we decided to adopt him. Put him with a cat. That's right. Now so. he's got a friend right yep. there. Let's look at him. I think he's happy. And this here, at first I thought it might be a warmer, but it's just a plate and a cover. So maybe you light the candle and it glows under the dome. Yeah. Yep. This here, I like this idea. It gave me ideas. It's a framed snowflake with a book page. But it's awesome. Super cute. Yeah. My OCD is kicking. 